Hi, my name is Jennifer kern Schleva, and I'm a co-author of the manuscript entitled Expansion of Guidance for the Day 8 Initiation Dose of Paliperidone Palmitate to Avoid a Missed Dose. Although symptoms of schizophrenia can be treated effectively with antipsychotic medication, poor adherence to prescribed treatment is a well-recognized problem. Continuous antipsychotic therapy is essential for achieving sustained symptom control and for reducing the risk of relapse and rehospitalization. Long-acting injectable antipsychotics provide a sustained release profile, resulting in therapeutic concentrations over several weeks, thus eliminating the need for daily dosing. Paliperidone palmitate is a once-monthly long-acting injectable formulation of paliperidone approved in several countries for the treatment of schizophrenia in adults. After intramuscular administration of two initiation doses given one week apart in the deltoid muscle, paliperidone palmitate is administered monthly in the deltoid or gluteal muscle. The recommended initiation regimen is 234 milligrams on day one, corresponding to 150 milligrams of paliperidone, followed by 156 milligrams on day eight, corresponding to 100 milligrams of paliperidone. Previously, the paliperidone palmitate label indicated that the day eight injection could be administered within plus or minus two days of day eight to avoid a missed dose without a clinically significant impact on paliperidone plasma concentrations. The modeling results presented here provide support for a more flexible initiation schedule with a plus or minus four day dosing window for administration of the second dose. That is, the second injection can occur between day four and day 12 to avoid a missed day eight injection. This has been approved by the Food and Drug Administration, and the paliperidone palmitate label has been updated accordingly. In our article, we report results of the analysis that form the basis for this label update. The analysis included model-based simulations used to evaluate the potential effects of the day eight missed dosing window expansion on paliperidone plasma exposures and potential implications for the safety and efficacy profile. No additional clinical trials were conducted, which highlights the usefulness of model-based approaches. An historical population pharmacokinetic model was used to check whether it could appropriately predict exposures from various initiation regimens. Here, we can see that simulated profiles obtained using the model were similar to those obtained in two paliperidone palmitate clinical studies. Therefore, the historical model is a suitable tool for predicting exposures with other initiation regimens. The figure on the left shows a comparison of model-based projections versus observed data with paliperidone palmitate 150 milligram equivalents on day one, followed by 100 milligram equivalents on day eight. The figure on the right shows a comparison with the dose of 150 milligram equivalents on both days one and eight. In this figure from left to right, we see dosing of 150 milligram equivalents on day one, followed by 100 milligram equivalents on days four, eight, and 12, compared with dosing with the maximum initiation regimen of 150 milligram equivalents on days one and eight. Administration of the second initiation dose on day four, eight, or 12 produced plasma exposures not exceeding the exposure observed with the maximum initiation regimen. This maximum initiation regimen has previously been found to be generally well tolerated with the safety profile similar to those of 150 milligram equivalents on day one and 100 milligram equivalents on day eight. In conclusion, our data from model-based simulations suggests that an expansion of the day eight missed dose window for paliperidone palmitate to plus or minus four days appears to have minimal effects on plasma paliperidone concentrations and would not pose efficacy or safety concerns during the initiation phase 
in patients for whom use of the expanded window is necessary to avoid a missed dose. We hope that this wider missed dosing window will support more practical clinical initiation of paliperidone palmitate in the hospital setting, particularly in those situations where the duration of hospital stay will be short. Thank you for your interest.